Good morning. I'm Leland Green. I'm the glow in the dark man. These are some things I made. I did not make the dinosaurs, okay? I want to compare commercial grade glow plastic with my products. Some of these products do not glow very well, so they're not in my Etsy shop. If an item has a paper under it, it's in my Etsy shop. I always keep it with the listing so I don't accidentally give those away. These others, if you like them, make me an offer. Definitely, um, I will sell anything here if the price is right. The larger items, you can see, okay, I've got a big hand. Something like this takes a lot of glow, and I'll show you here in a minute. A lot of a lot of glow powder uh, so it takes a lot of supplies to make those and because of that they're going to be more expensive for the larger items um, and the, you'll see these and actually right now these are marked down the large the pyramids in my shop and a lot of my stuff in my shop right now is marked down this is the begin, uh, March 1st of 2017 if you look at my shop uh, you're going to get a deal that's not going to last. I've got to raise the prices back up. So, all right, these are cool. This is, you can see that's got a bottle in it. And it's got glow sand inside the bottle. And you can actually see the sand moving if you turn it. And you can do that when it's glowing too. I won't try to show you that because I want to show you everything as a group. Okay, so I want to shut the light off. That's a little better than what you get. On on my products, they're still glowing from earlier. I charged, I actually shot a video and I messed up the audio. So I had, uh, I have to redo the whole thing. But anyway, the uh, you can see the dinosaurs are not even glowing. The little mushroom thing I made is barely glowing. And also some of these other things I made, the blue wolf, I don't know if you can see my hand. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the UV light. I've got a UV flashlight here. Uh, and I want to shine this. Okay, you see how I'm doing the shadow? I want to show you something cool. Watch this shadow. If I shut this light off, the shadow stays. It's the shadow. <laughs> so I think that one is awesome because of that. It takes a lot of glow powder to make that thing glow that long. This one, this onk. It is actually made. It's got a hole in it. You put it on a necklace if you want to. Uh, it has a lot of glow powder. Okay, let's just go. Let's charge everything equally. Let's try even these guys. Give these guys a good shot. And and these pyramids, these do not go that well. So I don't have some of these listed. Uh, if you like them, well, definitely get in contact with me look and then i'm on etsy as the glow in the dark man uh, and anything here is for sale everything if the price is right like i said these guys take a lot of this okay this i used i'll tell you my secrets here even how's that can't beat that can you all right so this guy I, first of all only use glow products from glow inc it's glowink.com, I think. Um, it's Glow Incorporated. If that's incorrect, I will put a link for you in the description of this video on YouTube. Check me out on YouTube. Uh, just search for Leland Green uh, and Glow and or and Glow in the Dark, probably, and you'll find me. Uh, okay, so back to, do you see the dark blue? It, okay, now watch this. If I turn the line on, he's bright. And he'll glow for just a minute. But I don't like that. That's not good. And this one's not really good. This one's kind of good, actually. And Oh, I didn't finish, did I? I didn't finish charging everything. That's why these guys are not glowing. They actually glow a little bit for... But I like the shadow on these. I want to show you something neat about these guys. And actually the onk, too. The... You notice how, if we look at the back of this, it looks like he's still green. So he, it's actually glowing green and blue. I use the green, I, I use the, it's glow ink makes different grades of glow powder. So I got some green glow powder that was the same uh, grain size as their pure blue so that they would suspend the same because I found that pure blue suspends awesome in resin 
like this. It doesn't just sink to the bottom. So, um, and especially if you mix a lot of powder. Okay, watch, we're gonna turn the light on the back just for a second and see it turns blue. Same thing here, if you just turn it on as, well, it should be like that, just shadow. You can, there's hair there. <laughs> How is that, huh? Oh, these guys are together. They glow the same. They're they're made at the same time, uh, so the glow glow powder is the same. And actually, okay, I told you wrong. The blue actually sinks to the bottom a little bit. See this? You can see it here. Because all I did was pour. I had the green, and then I poured the blue in it, and it sinks. The bottom, because it's in the mold like that, see. So this up here, I think, is, yeah, see, there's no blue up there. So that's one thing to be aware of, is your, your different grain sizes are going to act differently in resin. But now here, I'm not sure what I did. Maybe I got it, I probably degassed it longer, or else I put more powder. I probably just put more powder uh, because I had, these were listed at like a hundred dollars each. Okay. That's a lot of powder. Well, okay. Uh, so I marked them down. Uh, right now I'm not sure what I've got them at. They are on sale. I can make different color glow of anything that's good mold. I've still got a great mold of the onk and of course the pyramids I can do. The wolf, both of uh, the wolf mold, molds, both of the wolf molds have broken. So these are all going to be very unique items now. These are actually two different sculpts. Uh, I started from the, when I took it out of the mold, first mold, I messed up the clay terrible. So I had to re-sculpt it for this. And I tried to match it as close as I could to one of these. <laughs> So, and I got pretty close, I think, but anyway, um, I like the, I like his facial hair or whatever you call it, his tufts on the back of his skull there, of his hair, because they do glow a little bit too. Uh, oh, and this guy does. I have more of this type of thing, if you like this. Well, I said I wouldn't show you that, maybe I will check that out. If I, now if I tip that, you can kind of, you might be able to see the greens moving. Well, I can barely at this distance. But if you get, I've got some bigger ones of these too. I call this, uh, Pyramid of Bottled Light. Oh, yeah, that's kind of fun. It, depending on how I make these, this one does this. <laughs> Ah, there you go. We'll end on that note. How's that? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.